to Art2427. I'm Andre, and I'm uh, going to speak to you today about this painting. Um, the title of this painting is Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. And uh, it's a verse uh, that a lot of people know, uh, as Christians and uh, quite a lot of uh, non-Christians know this kind of verse. They don't know the actual chapter and verse but they know this the statement and the statement is and God said let there be light and there was light so this is what this painting is all about it's all about the creation event now we're not talking about some uh, theory of a big bang we're talking about God speaking and creating something out of himself uh, he's not creating something out of nothing uh, because that's the, uh, that's an impossibility, but he creates this uh, creation out of himself. He speaks, and his word is life. His word is living and active, um, and therefore, when he speaks, uh, life uh, occurs. Something occurs. So, so he speaks this right at the very beginning. Uh, God, uh, God is uh, uh, eternal. Um, is not everlasting. Everlasting is different from eternal. God, um, God is not subject to time. Like we are, uh, as human beings and, and all of creation, we are on a, a linear, um, we're on a linear time uh, line. So it's, we have a start, a middle, end, etc. But God, and that's everlasting. So we, there's a point of uh, coming into being, uh, and then carrying on from that. But God is eternal, and we don't quite understand what eternity is or the eternal, but God is outside of time. So in some point outside of time, God created time. And that was that point when he said, let there be light. And that's what uh, this uh, abstract painting is trying to capture. Now, in the moment of creation, in the moment of that let there be light that word itself contains such an explosive force of everything all the elements all the properties all the fundamental uh, understood and not understood things of the known and unknown universe were created uh, and this is the very moment of it all um, it's the very start let there be light and so it starts here and then there's just this massive radiation this explosion outwards from the point of origin the point of causation God is the causation of it all God is the cause the primary cause of it all uh, he is the the primary cause now now god has created man man is the secondary cause so we, we are we can make things uh, but so we are secondary causes but god is the primary cause so from this moment here everything springs out and this is what this painting in an abstract form um captures so as you can see it's very vibrant there's lots and lots of color lots and lots of uh, movement uh, detail direction um, there's all kinds of strange um, impasto parts it's, it's quite a lot of impasto it's, there's some really heavily impasto parts uh, and these these are trying to element these are trying to uh, to illustrate the elements the heavy elements the elements that we know about the unknown elements that things that men are still men and women still to discover these are all thrown out cast out um, into the uh, into existence and um, you have underneath here uh, this very fine uh, kind of uh, these fine colors underneath and on top of that you have an ex explosive rays of of uh, the joy of all creation coming out from God and there's all of these deep blues here there's every color that you could really think of um, 
uh, all the colours of the rainbow, all the colours of light in other words, because light is made up, uh, uh, well, visible light is made up of the colours of the rainbow, but also in here there are, there are other elements that um, are all part of the, um, the whole of the, uh, the spectrum of light, which includes materials, which includes yeah, like this here, this is kind of, I don't know what that is, but it's thrown out, it's ejected from God saying, let there be light. Uh, and he throws all of this out and there's all kinds of uh, electromagnetism and uh, heavy atomic particles and um, all kinds of things that are ejected out of this one proclamation from God. Uh, because he wants to create uh, uh, everything. So, um, so we just have a look round the painting at the the various different elements. We we'll just take a few moments to have a look at that because um, it is quite a complex work. So I hope you uh, like the look of that. I, I certainly uh, love this painting, and um, uh, we have these paintings up in our house. So we tend to rotate them um, from time to time. Whenever this one uh, has its time on the wall, uh, I'll spend a long, long time looking at it because it's uh, it's fascinating. And to know that it's uh, representing what God said, let there be light. And from that commanding word, creating out of himself everything, uh, it's, uh, it's wonderful. And it reminds me of the majesty, the glory, the power and the awesomeness and the transcendence of God. Uh, there's no one like him. So I hope you like that. I hope you got something from it, some... Uh, spiritual insight and um, yeah if you enjoy our work in uh, art 24 27 uh, subscribe to the channel and um, until next time uh, thanks for watching